friends, family and fans gather in Los Angeles as blogger reads letter from Barack Obama to crowd Nipsey Hussle's legacy as a persistent rapper, community activist, uniter, doting father, protective sibling and loving son were underscored at his public memorial service on Thursday, with deeply personal testimonies from those closest to the rapper, including his fiancé, Lauren London, collaborator and dear friend Snoop Dogg, and his mother, who said she was at peace with the death of her superhero son. Beyoncé and Jay-Z were among the celebrities who attended the three-hour event in Los Angeles at the Staples Center. The last celebrity funeral held at the concert arena was Michael Jackson's in 2009. The arena was packed with more than 21,000 fans and drove home the important impact that Hustle, who was just 33 when he died, had on his city and the rest of the world. My son Ermia's Joseph Askdom was a great man, said Angelic Smith, dressed in all white. Standing on stage with Hustle's father, Doit Askdom, she declared, Ermia's was a legacy. London, in dark sunglasses, was emotional but stood strong as she told the audience, I've never felt this type of pain before. London called Hustle majestic and brilliant, adding that though she was hurting, she was really sad for their son, Cross, whom she feared wouldn't remember his dad. Advertisement to blogger, Karen Civil, read a letter from Barack Obama. I've never met Nipsey, but I've heard his music through my daughters, and after his passing I had the chance to learn more about his transformation and his community work, the former president wrote. While most folks look at the Crenshaw neighborhood where he grew up and only see gangs, bullets and despair, Nipsey saw potential. He saw hope. Snoop Dogg's words to immortalize his friend were both serious and silly, as he told old stories about Hustle and their brotherhood. This a tough one right here, he said. Hustle's father said he knew his son was strong because when he was born, the umbilical cord was wrapped around his neck but he prevailed.